China's top legislature, the National People's Congress, has passed a decision on improving Hong Kong's electoral system, an important step in providing a sound legal foundation for the city to restore peace and stability before anything else. And as you might have already noticed, some US and European politicians have jumped up to say that the move by China could generate negative consequences or reduce democratic representation. And let's find out how misleading the Western reaction is. I'm Wang Zihang, and this is Xinhua Commentary. People acting double standards would always disregard what's really happening on the ground. That's exactly what those Western politicians did. They chose to ignore the actual situation in Hong Kong. But the current legal system has been hijacked by people who are quite happy to throw Hong Kong's future into the ditch, as long as it serves their own interest. They also ignored basic international norms, like no country would allow those against the nation into the governing system. Public officials everywhere in the world are required to serve their countries with loyalty and respect. Take the US, for example. Its senators and House representatives must swear to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. So letting patriots administer in Hong Kong is just filling up a long-missing jigsaw piece to complete a sound legal system that works best for Hong Kong's future. And the so-called violation of democracy. Come on, in countries with unitary government, regional electoral systems are determined by the central government. Say France, its regional electoral system was determined by the National Assembly. In the same way, China's MPC is the highest organ of state power and the national legislature. It has the power and responsibility to improve the electoral system in Hong Kong. According to a survey, more than 80% of local people recognize the necessity of upholding the patriot governing Hong Kong principle, while nearly 70% support the central authorities in improving Hong Kong's electoral system. Behind the double standards, certain Western politicians intend to take advantage of the loopholes in Hong Kong's current electoral system, help their anti-China agents enter the administration body, and make Hong Kong a pawn to contain China. Luckily, people in Hong Kong are increasingly aware of those intentions, and so are the world. At a recent session of the UN Human Rights Council, Belarus delivered a joint speech on behalf of 71 countries, emphasizing that Hong Kong affairs are China's internal affairs and should not be interfered with by external forces. Looking into the future, Hong Kong will only become a better place with an improved electoral system. I'm sorry, but you Western preachers are doomed to be disappointed.